Hi guys and welcome back to Seashore DIYs. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a fluffy pom-pom pillow so stick around to see how to make that. So have you ever been to a shop and you wanted to get this fluffy pom-pom pillow and you thought it was really cool but it was like 8 to 12 euro let's say and you're like that's such a rip off I'm not getting that. Well, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a fluffy pom-pom pillow out of household items. So, let's go. You're going to need an old t-shirt or pillowcase, really anything that you can cut up to make your pillow. Then you'll need some yarn, I as many colours of yarn as you want. I'd say about two to three. I just chose these two colours. Then you'll need some scissors, any scissors. And then you need some needles and thread. So, the first thing you'll have to do is get your t-shirt. Mine does have a design on it, but I'm just going to use the back. And you'll want to get a t-shirt or a pillowcase that is the same color as your yarn. So mine is white, so I chose this white one or navy. I could chose navy, but this t-shirt just doesn't fit me anymore, so I chose this one. Um, so make sure you have a t-shirt that is the same color as your yarn. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to make the pom-poms. Yes, we are making our own pom-poms. So, grab the end, and you're going to open your fingers and just wrap it around your fingers. But make sure you have loads of yarn wrapped around your fingers, because... The more yarn, the puffier it is. So keep winding, winding, winding. And if you have nothing to stuff your pillow with, don't worry. We will have to cut the yarn and we can just use, this is what I use. I just use the extra yarn that I have all over um, that I use to stuff my pillow with. And then you're going to cut... This well. um, so then it should look something like this then you're going to keep it aside and you're going to cut off about this much string just make sure it's long enough to be wrapped around your kind of ball thing so you're basically going to get this string and you're going to get this big blob of string and you're going to tie this one, just a simple knot, around the blob. So now it should look something like this, kind of like a little bow type thing. Just cut off your excess. And then get your scissors and just cut off here. On both sides. make sure you get all the little bits make sure you cut them all so now it looks like this okay and obviously this does not look like a pom pom so we're kind of just gonna swirl it around and then cut kind of a circle around it to turn it into a wonderful pom pom that you'll get to stick on your pillow So now, if you just fluff up your pom pom one more time, wait. make sure you don't have long bits with all your short bits. Then you're just gonna fluff up your pom pom one more time, like shake it like a dice. And here is your pom pom. <sighs> now, that's how you make a pom pom. And now I'm going to cut out of my T-shirt just to know what size I want. So I'm not going to make a really big one because then I'll need a lot of yarn and a lot of pom-pom. And as I said before, we cut off a lot more than this. But So if you don't have stuffing, which I don't um, because this is household items, you can just use the leftover yarn that you have. So just going to cut my pillow to about the size I want. And make sure it's not crooked. If it's crooked, that's okay. Because you're just going to sew it all together anyway. 
I can't cut in a straight line either, so if yours is crooked, join the club. Of course, you can make a much larger one than me if you want, but I don't want this to be a 20 minute video, So, and it will take much, much longer if you do a bigger one, so that's why I'm not going to do a bigger one, I'm just going to do a small one, but of course you can do whatever size you want. So this is what mine looks like. I've just got my fabric, and don't worry. So this is what mine looks like. You can do any size, as I said. Um, and now I'm going to make another pom-pom. So there is another way to do this that I'm going to show you right now. So here is a different way to make pom-poms. And I think it's harder to make... It's not harder, but it takes more work to make the outside. But it's it takes so much shorter. It takes a shorter amount of time to make the pom-poms. So, you're going to get a piece of square cardboard like I have here, and you're going to cut out a square. Just be careful, you don't hurt yourself. Wow, didn't know it was this difficult to cut cardboard. go. It doesn't matter what size the uh, square is on the inside of the cardboard. That doesn't really matter. Just once you have a square that's, you know, big. <laughs> not really big, but not really small. Sorry, I had to do that off camera, but here is my square. Um, and here's another way to make your pom-poms. So if you, this is going to make a really large pom-pom, so if you want, you can cut your cardboard at the side, because that other pom-pom is not the biggest pom-pom in the world. So I'm just going to cut the side of mine, just like this, and so now mine's the size, which is a way better size. So you're going to get your yarn, or wool, or whatever you like to call it. And you're just going to wrap it around here. And now, some people have pom-pom makers, and I've never seen those or heard of them before. I just heard someone on 5 Minute Crafts or something say it. I don't really remember where I heard it, but... Um... <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting really distracted with this wool. I feel like a cat. Um, I don't have a pom-pom maker, but if you have a pom-pom maker, go ahead and use that, because that would be way easier and faster. I don't know, I've never actually seen one of these pom-pom makers. I feel like such a boomer hearing about the internet. Okay, right. So I think that is big enough. So we're gonna, once you've finished wrapping it, just chop off like the last time and gather all your string together like this so it should look like this and just set that aside and then get another piece of string and you're gonna tie it like the last time but it's way easier to tie this time just oh. tie a knot a simple knot cross over in the middle, okay. And so now it looks like this with your knot, and you can do two knots, which is what I like to do. But okay, and then you're gonna chop off just like this. Like that, and then on the other side. And then just 
flip it up. This has a lot of yarn in it, so. And then we are going to cut. Just like that, and fluff it up. And then here is a comparison of our two pom poms. They both look pretty much the same, but this. These two are different types of yarn, so this one kind of... I don't know. Which one do you think is better? Okay. So, you still have all this extra yarn that you can use as stuffing for your pillow. I'm going to go make the rest of my pom-poms, and I'll see you guys back in a little while. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple running stitch, and this is how we're going to sew all of our pom-poms onto our pillow. So, it's one of, it's actually the easiest stitches that you can do. So basically you just go in, pull it through, and go back in. So you're basically just going up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so one more time, we go oh, in, Pull it through, and then out, and then pull it through again. And do this until your pom-pom is safely secure on your pillow. I'd say maybe do it about six to eight times. I'm going to do this to the rest of my pom-poms, and I'll see you later. Bye. So here is what my pom pom pillow part looks like. Oh, we got some string sticking out. Just check that. So this is what my pillow looks like. Now we're going to get the other part that we chopped off, and we're gonna sew it together. So you, if you don't want to sew or don't have the things to sew your pillow, you can use fabric glue, but I think sewing is a bit more sturdier and fabric glue can come off if you pull it tight enough, but I guess if you're not pulling your pillows, I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, I like to sew because I have the stuff to do it and I feel it's more sturdier. So just a simple running stitch as we did before. So seriously, I have to put this thread through the needle again. And if you have any tips or tricks to help me put this thread through this needle, eventually, go ahead and write it in the comments. I'm begging you. When you're finished sewing your pillow together, um, remember to leave a little hole because we have to put in the stuffing. So, as I said before, if you do not have stuffing, you can just use the extra thread that we cut off from our pom-poms and be very gentle when you're putting it into the pillow because the thread is really thin and it could break the stitch. So just continue putting the leftover yarn in, or wool, whatever you like to call it. And I'd like to stuff it up a lot to make it like a proper pillow. But remember not to over stuff it because you do have to re-close it again. So, I'd say that's enough. And now I have to go back and sew it again and try to get this thread through this little hole. So here is the final finished product. My little fluffy pom pom pillow. And I love making these. They're not, they're easy to make, but it does take a bit of time. And we're in quarantine, so we have all the time in the world. So 
Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please tell your friends about my YouTube channel and comment below if you have any tips or tricks to get the thread into the sewing needle because man, it's hard. Anyway, thank you guys for watching um, and well, hope you guys have a good day. Bye guys! Oh, 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 oh,